today's video is a really easy concept. It's my empties video, and I'm basically just gonna show you a bunch of products that I have completely gone through all the way down to the bottom, and I'm gonna give you a brief review and whether or not I would repurchase them. So I've taken this MAC bag and completely overflowed it with empty products. So it's gonna be some makeup, some beauty, some bath products, and some hair products. First product's gonna be kind of obscure. This is my Bath & Body Works hand soap, and these are my favorite hand soaps of all time. I will absolutely be repurchasing these. Um, the only thing I don't care for is that they took out the antibacterial agent in it, so now they call them deep cleansing hand soaps. So it's like, if it's not antibacterial, how is it deep clean cleansing? I don't know, but anyway, um, most hand, hand soaps I find from the drugstore are very thin and they wash off your hands very quickly. These are very thick and they have like these little exfoliating beads in them and they're very moisturizing. They don't leave your hands dry or stripped of any natural oils. So I love these soaps. Another bath product I have is the Ulta Beauty Smoothie and this is a three-in-one product that you can use as a shampoo, bubble bath, and a body wash. I have really high standards for my shampoo and I have color treated hair so I can't use this as a shampoo but I did use it as a bubble bath and as my body wash for several months. It took a long time to go through. It only takes a couple little tiny pumps onto your loofah. So I did already repurchase three new beauty smoothies and they're all different smells. They have a ton of great smells and they're constantly changing it up so I really like this a lot. Next up, I have a couple hair products to show you. The first one is my Nexus hairspray, and I this is probably my most favorite drugstore hairspray. It is a very fine mist when it comes out. It just takes a little tiny bit, and it actually stays in until you wash it out, so it doesn't wear off throughout the day. And this is great for humidity as well. So if it's ever humid here, just spray a little bit of this on. My hair doesn't get frizzy. So definitely my favorite drugstore hairspray. Another hair product I would like to show you is the Straight Sexy Hair Spray-On Smooth and Seal. I am pretty much always in a hurry these days. I feel like I anything that can make my get ready routine quicker is perfect. So I really like spray-on stuff because you don't have to squirt it into your hand, rub it into your hands, and then rub it into your hair. I like this because you could just spray it on, brush it through, and you're good. So. I really like this a lot. I am going to be repurchasing this for those days where I just want to spray something in my hair and let it air dry or just slick it back or whatever. So I really like this a lot. Um, the Sexy Hair brand is really good in my opinion. A couple more hair products. I have the American Cream Lush Conditioner and I really actually liked this a lot. It was a little on the pricey side so I'm going to have to justify buying another one but I really like this because I feel like with my hair being color treated, it, it can tend to get really porous, and so it takes forever to wash conditioner out of my hair. This did not take forever to wash out. It washes out very quickly. Not only that, but it doesn't leave a residue in your hair. So I really, really, really liked this. I think it was just like $20 or something like that for this little tiny bottle. So um, I ended up not using it every day. I used this on the days where I would want to do like a clarifying shampoo instead of my normal shampoo routine. So, but I really did like this a lot and I would absolutely repurchase this. Next up, Batiste Dry Shampoo. And I've actually gone through multiple cans of this, but these are just the ones that I kept for this video. This is for when my hair was a little bit dark over red. This is the one for dark and deep brown. So when you spray it on, it actually goes on a dark brown color. So that, and then just this regular travel size one that I would take with me when I would travel. And this one just goes on white, but uh, I prefer the ones that are my hair color. Currently, I have one that goes on bright red. It's like an orangish red. So, But anyway, if you have fine or thin hair like I do, your hair will get really greasy after one day and you feel like you have to wash it every day. But that's not supposed to be good for your hair, so I'm no hair expert, but I don't want to wash my hair every single day. So what I like to do on second and sometimes third day hair is just spray a little bit of dry shampoo let it sit and then work it through with your fingers and your hairbrush and your hair looks clean and it smells good. These usually smell really good. So I will definitely be repurchasing more of these. Next up, I have some beauty products to show you. And the first are these e.l.f. Makeup Remover Cleansing Wipes and it's 20 wipes for $3. Can't beat that. These are very good wipes. They're very wet. I don't like the dry makeup wipes where you actually have to really, really scrub because that causes premature wrinkles and I'm not down with that. So e.l.f. Um, their products, as you know if you've watched my prior videos, I really do like most e.l.f. products and this is one of them that I have been repurchasing multiple times. 
On the flip side, I got some high-end Makeup Remover Wipes. These are by Stila. It's called Ready for Takeoff. It was 30 wipes for $15. $15. So 20 wipes, $3, 15 wipes, or 30 wipes for $15. Mm, yeah, I'm going to go with this. Not only that, but it was not worth the $15. I don't think it's even worth $3 that I paid for these. These wipes are so dry and they stink. They, the smell that they gave these wipes is just horrific. So I went through them as fast as I can. I ended up not even using them for my taking off my makeup anymore. I used them for wiping down my vanity where, my, where I do my makeup. So yeah, they were that bad. I would not recommend these and I will not be repurchasing them. Next up is a face wash. This is the Philosophy Purity Made Simple Face Wash. If you've watched my prior videos, you know this is a staple in my skincare routine. It is a face wash and a makeup remover in one. It completely takes off everything that you have on your face and it leaves your face moisturized and just clean and feeling like new skin. So I have already bought, not only have I already purchased this, but I got a bigger size. So if you haven't tried this, it really helps a lot. Um, it makes sure you get all of your makeup off and it really helps with clarifying your skin as well because if you get all your makeup out of your pores, you're less likely to have breakouts. So this has helped a lot with uh, multiple things, multiple problems that I was having with my skin. So sometimes I'll just kind of walk into Ulta or Sephora looking for new products to try. And one thing that I wanted to try was the Murid Clarifying Cleanser. And this is supposed to be a really good antibacterial acne face wash. And I do have problems with breakouts from time to time. And so I really like salicylic acid. Um, when I got this, I took it home, it's 1.5% salicylic acid, brought it home and compared it to my Neutrogena oil-free grapefruit scrub, and that has 2% salicylic acid. So this is high-end, I think it was like six bucks for this little tiny tube, and it has less salicylic acid. I feel like this didn't do anything for my skin. I went through the entire tube and noticed no changes. So this is not something I'll be repurchasing. Um, I believe it was $25 for the full-size tube. So. Mm -mm, no go. Everything I show you from this point forward is going to be makeup related. So the first thing I would like to show you is my Urban Decay setting sprays. And the first one that I tried was the All Nighter. And this is actually the one that I prefer over the D Slick. And I didn't, f I like to get smaller sizes of things if I've never tried them and I don't know if I'm going to like them or not. So I did get the smaller size. It's half the price of the full size. And this was $14 at Ulta, I believe, 14 or 15. So I really liked this spray a lot. I felt like it absolutely did help with the longevity of my makeup. I feel like it stayed, it did stay on all night. <laughs> my makeup pulled an all-nighter just like it's supposed to. So I really like this. This is the D Slick version, and this is supposed to also help with the longevity of your makeup, but also help with oil control as well. And I feel like it helped for a couple hours, but then after that the oil would start to show and I would have to start blotting. So if I do repurchase this, I'm going to be getting the all-nighter version just because I felt like it lasted a little bit longer and it probably helped my skin personally with oil control more than the actual oil control version. You're probably wondering where all the MAC crap is in this video. <laughs> I have so much MAC stuff, I just feel like I never run out of it just because I have so many different options of everything that I have from MAC. So I just it takes me forever to run out of something. So the one product from MAC that I have that I ran out of is a small bottle of Fix Plus. And I got this little tiny one because the MAC where I usually go in the mall here, they were all out of the full size. So I was forced to get this miniature version and I went through it in probably less than 30 days. And that's not even using it every day. So I use it to wet my brushes, wet my beauty blender. I use it to I don't know, everything. I use it to fix my makeup in place. I use it to moisturize before I apply my makeup. I use it to wet my brush before I stipple on my foundation. I use it for damn near everything and I went through it so quick. So finally they got some more in stock after like two months of not having any. So I didn't have to get the tiny version again. I got the giant version. So yes, I did repurchase this already. Next up is the Duo Eyelash Adhesive, and this is a very good brand of eyelash adhesive. You can get it anywhere. You can even get it at MAC. You can get it at Sephora, drugstores. This is the dark version, and it's actually not empty like all the other products I'm showing you, but it did go bad it's because I had another eyelash uh, adhesive that I needed to use up before I started using this, and then it started stinking. So once something if a girl, if you have makeup and it's starting to smell, toss it because it is bad. So this started to smell. I am not about that life. So I am not going to put this anywhere near 
anything that's going on my eyes. So it's not quite empty, but it did go bad. So done. But I did buy a different version of dual eyelash glue. So um, definitely, yeah, repurchasing this again and again. <sighs> I feel like I'm being spastic. <sighs> I'm sorry if I'm being weird or talking too fast. I just feel like I have a hundred different things to show you and I don't want this video to be a half an hour. So, okay, next. Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And girl, watch my prior videos. I use this almost every single time, every single video. I've repurchased this. This is, I think this was like my fourth or fifth one. I'm probably on my eighth or ninth Brow Wiz now. So yeah, definitely repurchase these. They have this tiny spoolie on one end. And on the other end, they have this teeny tiny little pencil. So these are great products. She has tons of different colors to accommodate all different brow colors, all different hair colors and skin tones. So yeah, this is one of the only brow products I use. Absolutely repurchasing this over and over and over. Till death, girl. Next up is an eye product I want to show you. And this is the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner. And I actually did not run out of this, just like the Duo Eyelash Glue, but once again it went bad it's completely dried out and a little secret if you didn't know if your gel eyeliner is still fairly newish but it seems a little bit dried out you can put it in your microwave for 10 seconds and then when you take it out it'll be like new again it's actually a very good trick that i learned from wayne goss the makeup artist so um, i did that with this and it lasted me a couple months longer than i expected but now it's just done <laughs> it's done so time to toss this Next up is a NARS lip gloss that I went through. This is in the color Chihuahua. This is one of my favorite colors that they have. So um, I've probably gone through four or five tubes of this. And I don't know if you can even tell that it's empty, but it's empty. And yeah, and the wand smells. So it's time to toss this. But I've repurchased this as well as many other colors from NARS. If you know me, you know I love NARS lip gloss. So if you haven't tried this, I would highly, highly recommend this lip gloss. We're getting near the end, I promise. <laughs> I have three mascaras to show you and then that's gonna be it. So the first one I wanna show you is a drugstore mascara. This is the Revlon Lash Potion. And I liked this mascara for the first, I don't know, probably two months that I had it. It has a nice large brush, which I like. It helps making your lashes really long. So I like that a lot. I like that it's a traditional uh, wand and not one of those teeny tiny little rubber ones. And this is actually supposed to help grow your eyelashes. I feel like it did not do that for me. Usually when I get a new mascara, I just use that one mascara until it's gone. And I tried that with this and there was no change in my eyelashes whatsoever. But I mean, it's a decent mascara. I think it's about $7. So um, I'm not gonna repurchase this just because there's always so many, there are always new mascaras coming out that I wanna try. And so I would just rather try something new than purchase something that I know I'm not in love with. Last but not least, this is on my shopping list for next time I go back to Sephora. This is the YSL Baby Doll Mascara. And <laughs> let me see if it's gonna do it. Yeah. Um, if you can see the little, the little piece that goes in the hole that basically scrapes off the excess mascara before the wand comes out, that part came off and is stuck up here. So. The mascara is just globbed up all over the wand. So you can't even see any definition of bristles just because there's nothing to wipe off the excess. So that kind of stinks because I know I had a little bit left and this was a $30 tube of mascara, which is kind of outrageous, but I am going to purchase it because needless to say, this was love at first application. The formula is amazing. Your eyelashes get so long and separated and they look like baby doll lashes. So. Um, I do have a review for this mascara that I will post down in my description bar below if you would like to see more. But yes, absolutely going to be repurchasing this mascara. This is the best mascara that I've ever tried. Um, I, m pretty much my entire life, I just did not purchase high-end mascara because I had tried a couple and I just didn't feel like there was much of a difference between drugstore and high-end. And then I tried this <laughs> and everything changed. So definitely love this mascara. If you haven't tried it and you're looking for a new high end, this is my recommendation for you. So that's gonna do it for my empties video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, if you like product videos like this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up so I know. 
and go ahead and let me know what you would like to see in future videos in the comments below or just let me know what you thought of this video. So thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe before you take off and I will see you next time. Goodbye.